Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make dry beans from scratch at a high altitude. So I have this recipe card here. Um, so one of our first steps here is to going to uh, be soaking the beans. And we're going to do a quick soak actually here on this recipe because uh, this is the fastest method and it should allow us to get the soft texture of beans in a shorter amount of time. I'm using a large pot here on the stove top. I have it on pretty high heat here. Um, and so I added about six cups of water, as it says on here, uh, for each pound and of beans, which is about two cups. I got this small bag. It's about a pound of black beans that we're gonna use. Um, so we're gonna boil it here for about two to three minutes. And then after that, I'm going to soak them for at least an hour. And there they are. I'm going to stir them up here. Actually, I'm going to use a, one of our wooden spoons here. Kind of let those soak. All right, everyone, so we're back with the black beans here and cooking them here at a high altitude. So as you can see, they have been soaking and they're pretty soft and a good trick to kind of test for softness here is to take one and push it against the side here. You can see that this one just broke open right here. So uh, they're a little hard still, so they're not quite ready to eat, obviously. So, we're going to cook and boil them for longer again. So I've added some more water. The beans. And these will probably have to boil for about 60 to 90 minutes. And I'm gonna get some more water here. Add it in because you want to be able to cover them since they've had that time to soak it doesn't need as much water as before okay so we're gonna put that on heat now pretty high heat and then we're gonna cover it and let it boil for about 60 to 90 minutes. All right, welcome back. So the beans have first soaked for quite a while. We did a quick soak, which involved boiling and then allowing it to soak further for an hour. And then after that, we drained that with a colander and then allowed it to boil again with more fresh water. And then we let that simmer and covered it and I let it simmer for about 90 minutes. So we're gonna see here upon stirring if the beans are ready. And instead of using this wooden spoon here, I'm going to take this here. So they look a lot better. They're larger because they've absorbed more water. That shell has kind of allowed for that to happen. And you can usually check and see if it's ready to buy seeing how soft it is and that bean is completely soft as you can see got it, got it all over my hands <laughs> anyways so these beans should be just about ready and they look pretty good so not a super flavor flavorful dish by any means but we're just going to add them here on the rice like that and most people can make these a different way. Some people choose to add uh, maybe diced tomatoes, bell pepper, onions, and seasoning to make time, a type of uh, Creole rice even, uh, or even just like this, as simple as it may be. But uh, that's how you cook dry beans at a high altitude. It does take quite a bit of time, which is why canned beans are more popular. Uh, but it can be quite rewarding. So there you have it.